What is it that you guys are doing at Kaleidoscope today? Uh, we're out here basically demonstrating various aspects of the Middle Ages and um, basically showing how we have recreated some of the combat forms and arts and sciences of the Middle Ages. And uh, basically out here to show people what we do. What exactly do you do with the catapult? Um, basically, the, we use these in uh, some of our larger events that are called wars, and we use these in combat. We have projectiles that are basically made out of a uh, cloth bag filled with carpet foam, or made out of plastic tubing with uh, uh, foam heads on them so that they're non-lethal projectiles. And uh, basically when we, have, when we have our large battles, we shoot them at people. And are you going to have a large battle today? We're not going to have a large battle today, but we will be shooting them off at different times throughout the day. And what is your favorite part of being here today? Just showing off the toys, getting to play with the toys and showing them off. <laughs> All right, and is there anything you would you think is notable that we should add? Other than within the SCA, you're going to find everything you would have found in a medieval village. Everything from making clothes to making armor. Mm -hmm. It's a great way to learn history. Mm -hmm. It's a great way to be a part of history and a lot of fun. What kind of uh, performance is it going to be? Is it tumbling? We're going to do we're going to do a variety of things. We're going to do a dance uh, number at first, and then we're going to do some tumbling and some uh, acrobatics. What level of gymnasts do you have here today? Today we have up to a level nine, and we go from uh, two and a half year olds to uh, through college uh, gymnasts at our facility. Fabulous. And um, what is the most exciting portion of this? for you today? Um, just to bring the kids out here and you know do something for the community and let everybody see what we're about and try to get people involved into physical fitness and stuff and it's just uh, nice to be out here and do something for the community. Um, these kids here we have age uh, five years old all the way up to today we have a 15 year old. Gas gymnastics has been in existence for at least I think 35 years and we've had 12 Olympians out of our club so we're a very successful program. And what are you doing here today at Kaleidoscope? Well, we're here to promote our music center. We have a music center in uh, Bixby Knolls, the Bixby Knolls area of Long Beach, and we're just here to promote our great classes. We have classes for all ages, private lessons, group classes, and um, instruments. All right, and what is your special draw here today? 
probably our free guitar lessons. We're doing uh, free guitar lessons all day today so people can try it out. We, we've been in existence, I'd say, for about three years now. All right. Yeah. And do you, what kind of food? What kind of lessons do you get on? We do piano, guitar, bass guitar, drums, uh, saxophone, violin, clarinet, flute. We do group classes for toddlers, mommy and me classes, and also for the three to six year olds. We do rock school for the kids who want to learn how to play, get together with other kids and play in a band. Uh, we, we do drum circles, we do after school things at various schools around Long Beach. On the football field, you've got to stay focused and not get distracted. The same is true on the road. So before your wireless phone becomes a distraction, take a time out for safety. In bad weather or traffic, call later, dial sensibly, and use a hands-free device. You know, your wireless phone can be your best safety tool. To call for help, stop a crime, however you use it, remember, with wireless, safety is your call. How far would you go to help someone? Would you go to the end of your driveway? Would you cross a street? Would you cross an ocean? Would you go if you could use your knowledge to teach someone? And in the process, maybe learn something yourself. Life is calling. How far will you go? Peace Corps. Got a 28 year old black male, got three gunshot wounds in the chest. One upper chest, one lower chest, one center. Bleeding a lot. There are two paths a child can take. Sir, try not to move. We have a 28 year old male. For over 25 years, we've been helping children choose the right one. Communities and schools, helping kids stay in school and prepare for life. University College and Extension Services you know, doing here today. University College and Extension Services is promoting their company and advertising what our purpose is for students that have graduated or do not attend Cal State Long Beach. So what is the purpose? The purpose of University College and Extension Services is to create programs for individuals to further their education and to promote um, the continuance of education. All right. And what is it that you guys are doing here today? Today we're just promoting our classes that we offer and explaining the purpose of our program and just celebrating our 35 years that we've been here.
The MAPS organization stands for Minority Association of Pre-Medical Students. We're an organization that supports pre-medical students. You don't have to be a minority. And um, we help kids that want to go into the medical field know what to do before they get into medical school and uh, give them a place to ask questions and try to find all the opportunities they can on campus to help them get further in their medical career. And how long have you been doing this? This is our first semester. The club has just started. We're brand new. We've held bake sales open. We're pretty loud. We've got a lot of people, so that's what we're doing out here today. All right, and what exactly are you doing? We're selling all kinds of stuff. We're selling lemonade. We're selling every cotton candy, ice cream from the ice cream trucks. We're selling everything to support our club. All right, and will you be back next time? Um, I'm graduating, but I am coming back for these functions to help sell and support. Right. So, Anything you would like to add that we should know? No, just all the pre-med students need to come and check us out because we're really, really into helping people and it's for a good cause. Hey, I am the president of MAPS. It's a new organization I just started this semester called uh, Minority Association of Pre-Medical Students. Uh, so yeah, we're supporting uh, all students of any race. You don't have to be a minority to be in this club. It can be any race. Uh, we're just saying minorities because we're underrepresented in the sciences and the medicine. So yeah, we welcome everybody. It's to help students like ourselves go into medical school. So we provide a lot of programs. Um, we, we bring physicians in, medical students, MCAT prep courses come on by. So yeah, we're doing really well. All right, and what are you doing here today? Today, we're advertising. We're doing... Um, frozen lemonade in these souvenir cups with a free lay. We're selling all types of ice cream from like the ice cream truck. Popcorn, cotton candy, chips, drinks, um, candy, all types of stuff. Alright, anything you would like to add in particular that we should know? Come and support medical students. I don't think many people know about the field, you know, and I think it to bring awareness, you know, that physicians are in demand. Well, this is a perfect opportunity for us to engage the community, let them know where we are, um, that we are here to serve the students on campus, and that what we do enhances the learning that occurs here. All right, and what exactly do you do? Okay, we're a contemporary art museum, so we put on exhibitions year-round that's free to students. We're open to the community. We also tour K-12 classes. Anyone that wants to come to the museum can. And we also host the annual student exhibition, and we actually open on May 3rd this year for the student exhibition. All right, and uh, I see that there's some uh, activity going on. What is it that... Right. What are you doing today? Well, we're doing a model magic project, and model magic is a polymer clay that kids can work at. It's not messy, and they can make something now. It kind of dries within about an hour, and then they get to take something home with them. And how long have you been around on campus? How long has the University Art Museum has actually been on campus for over 30 years. We've been in the Horn Center um, for about the last 10, and. Um, we're just at the far end of the Horn Center, so if anyone's around, you know, I encourage them to come and visit us. All right. And is there anything you would like to add that we should know? So, no, just, you know, we'd love to see people come to the museum and visit us. So it's a great place, and again, you know, we're tied into what's going on on campus. It's a great opportunity to, to see good work. You know, we are the only accredited museum in the CSU system, so we're really proud of that. College of the Arts is basically a student council that's organized, basically oversees all the clubs and organizations that fall under the College of the Arts umbrella, as we like to call it. And it's open to any person in the College of the Arts, you don't have to belong to a club, but we do have, I believe, 18 different clubs that are in the College of the Arts and active. Alright, and what are you doing here today at Kaleidoscope? Well today, uh, most of the people here today are either prospective students or just kids and community members who come out to just have a fun time. And our booth is really geared more to the younger side and uh, as you can see here we're making lots of t-shirts, prints making, just having fun in general. We do also have lots of information if you're interested at all in the graphic design program, uh, theater arts, music arts, dance, visual arts, any of those. What exactly, um, is there anything that you know that we should know? Well, the College of the Arts at Long Beach is a wonderful college, one of the best ones here, as we like to say. <laughs> Maybe a little bit of bias, but uh, there's constantly wonderful programs being put on here. I believe Celebrating Music is coming up in the Carpenter Center put on by the Music Department. Um, there are several shows running right now in the University Theater by the University Players and the Theater Department. There's constantly shows on the Upper Campus Galleries. The graphic Design Department always puts out wonderful work. Uh, just all the arts departments here in general are fabulous places to learn. 
about arts in general. The time is coming. There's no escape from the day you retire. And will you be ready financially? Are you ready, dear? You still can be with investments like an IRA or a retirement plan at work. It's never too late. But start now, because if you wait... You're making a grave mistake. You may wind up working forever. <laughs> Saving for your financial future doesn't have to be a nightmare. Choose to save. I remember when it first hit me. Applied energy in a forward direction equals... Human locomotion. What does this all mean, Doc? Well, it changed what is we do it. I thought, wow, this concept might actually change the way we get from point A to point B. I felt like Einstein inventing the telephone. <clears throat> I give you the human foot. Get up, get out, get moving. A message from the American Academy of Orthopedic Surgeons. For me, it's giving the best of myself. For me, it's the professional team environment and the mutual respect that I share with my colleagues. For me, it's providing my patients with the best and safest care possible. For me, it's having the latest in healthcare technologies and the privilege of providing the best healthcare to America's veterans. We are the nurses of VA. VACareers.com, a career in caring. There's one for you. Okay, now you're going to uh, Behind us is our Find Me Alpha booth. We're a uh, music fraternity here on campus, and we raise money for community service and school uh, functions kind of thing. So right now, we're raising music, I'm sorry, raising funds for our Mills Music Mission. We go out to children's hospitals, and we raise money for the holidays. We go to senior citizen centers, and we sing to them. And we just do a bunch of stuff in the community in Long Beach. All right, and how long have you guys been around? This is actually our second semester as an active chapter. Um, we reactivated the chapter in the spring last year. So as an active chapter, it's our second year. Um, the, the chapter has actually been around on campus for about 40 years. It just keeps getting junked and disjunked. And we got a group of 25 awesome guys to bring it back, and it's been a lot of fun. All right, and what is your... Um attraction here today what is it exactly we're calling it we're calling it fish and win with find me alpha basically we're going for the younger crowd um it is as you can see there's like an ocean we made it um the kids take the toy fishing poles and they cast away into the uh into the ocean and like there's prize bags behind there and like it's they have fun and we made little sea monsters we made a shark and an octopus and we just wanted to have a good time and on top of that we're um having an opportunity drawing for an ipod shuffle so we're attracting all ages like kind of with our prize and just try, try to raise money for things that we do Car? Uh, well, the guy who put, put on the um, push cart is a friend of mine and he asked me to do it. So we made our cart, tried to make it as cool as possible. I, I'm sure you got some video of that. Um, we were hoping we'd win the best looking car, but we didn't. So we did okay the first uh, put preliminaries, but we got fifth in the overall. So it happens. We broke our wheel the first one, so that was kind of why. So. All right, and so what are you guys doing here today? Um, today we are doing cornhole, which is kind of a game that they do in Midwest. It's kind of popular over there. Um, bean bags, you slide them in there, and it's played differently, but the way we're doing it so little kids can play is you get it in there, you get some candy. If not, if you're little enough, we'll give you candy anyways. So, and we're just we're taking donations and giving it to the uh, Virginia Tech thing because uh, Greek Week's going on, and we're just taking donations all Well, today's the last day, but we're taking donations all week. So. All right, and um, how long have you guys been on campus? Um, 50 years. <laughs> it's actually the 51st year that we've been on campus. Okay. So, solid. We've never been kicked off or anything like that either. Yeah. So, uh, long What tradition. is your uh, philanthropy? Um... That we do? Yeah. Um, this year we did volleyball, uh, uh, beach volleyball. And I think we're going to keep doing that every year. But we've been switching it up every once in a while. So, it went, it went pretty well this year. So, I think we're going to do it again. I don't 
We're paired, it's for Greek Week. Our Greek Week was this whole last week. And we're paired with um, Phi, Pi Kappa Phi and Zeta Phi Rho. And um, this, well, we're doing all of this stuff. We're doing the raffle for $5 for the um, bike. And then this, we're sending letters overseas to the troops in Iraq. And then we're also doing care packages. So it's all, and then all the money that we make is for um, Camp Heartland, which is kids that have AIDS and um, that are diagnosed with HIV and they just have a camp during the summer like for fun and then their stuff is going to American Cancer Society so all of that <laughs> there's a lot of different things and how long have you guys been around on campus here sorority um, Delta Gamma about 50 years I think it's been Del I, we've been around Delta Gamma has been a sorority since 1873 so it's been a long time but um, it, we're back and forth on campus <laughs> all right and is there anything that you know that we should know? About Delta Gamma? Sure. Um, it's great. We do a lot of fundraisers. Our um, service is, or our philanthropy, I guess you would call it, is service for sight. We actually have Anchor Splash, which is coming up this Saturday. This Saturday? Yeah. On next Saturday, week from today. Um, and it's all events and all the money goes to the Blind Children's Center in Los Angeles. And so all of that, it's really fun. <laughs> all right. We try to do as much community service as we can. <laughs>